Hey guys, I know I look super sexy right now. Can't help it. Um, <laughs> but <coughs> I was praying today. I felt like I really needed to talk about perfectionism. I think it's something that most people can relate to in this drive to be perfect, a fear of imperfection, and the way that it gets us stuck. Um, so I thought, <laughs> hey, what's a better way of uh, talking about imperfection? Well, totally not trying to be perfect. And what I mean is, I'm sure all of you know the struggle of constantly trying to present a certain person or a certain uh, image to the world when the reality of what's actually going on in your life isn't that perfect and isn't that pretty and isn't that put together. I think this is such a, a poison for us. And honestly, it's, it's what prevented me from starting this journey for so long, is the fear of um, wanting to be perfect. But something that I've learned through my years is that <laughs> the most ridiculous thing is that in order to be perfect or very good at something, because I don't think we can be perfect, um, when you look at people who are just completely inspiring, people who overcome things or people who play the piano in crazy ways, I mean, uh, so many things uh, that they've had to, to overcome to get to that point, but all we see and I think today is society, especially with YouTube and everything else, all we see is, is the fruits of their labor, <laughs> the fruits of their ability to be imperfect for a while. Um, you know, I had this realization one day, um, singing has always been something that I love to do, but I'm incredibly insecure about. And I had this realization one day while praying that when you look at singers and where they started, they always were kind of crappy in the beginning. You know, they, yes, there are certain people that have like natural talent, but in order to get to the place that they're at, they had to crack. They had to learn how to breathe. They had to breathe imperfectly. They had to look stupid. Anybody starting out comedy or anything, anytime you're trying anything, for the first time. it's It has to be imperfect, but if you don't do it, if you don't struggle through it, you'll never get anywhere. And it's funny because my husband, who I consider to have a really good voice and be a good guitar player, even though he says he's not that great, anybody who's heard him knows that he, he's a fantastic singer. He's just amazing at doing any kind of worship. Um, uh, and worship, if um, you're not Christian, it's basically like this uh, using um, using song to praise God. Um, uh, it's wonderful. Anyways, I would hear a lot of things from his family about how they he used to be really, really bad. Um, and it's funny because I have watched several people, just even in my community, who sing. And honestly, we're not that great. And I will, I will say right here and right now that I, I, t I totally judged them. And I was like, man, you really suck. <laughs> and then I watched them throughout the years and because they tried, because they kept at it, they're some of the best singers that I know. I find that amazing because they're fearless. People like that are fearless. And I am so tired of the chains that bind us, you know? The inability to move because we're afraid of that imperfection. I thought today was a perfect thing because I'm not feeling well today and this isn't gonna be perfect. And you know what? That's okay. It's okay. I had something on my heart today. I felt like the Holy Spirit was really moving and that I needed to get that message out. And I hope that this gives you encouragement. We can easily look at people who are on America's Got Talent or, um, you know, winning 
trophies, great at YouTube, great at gymnastics, great at, you know, any of these things at the top of their game, at the Olympics, at the, you know, um, and find them so inspiring. But I think we need to start opening up ourselves to a little more vulnerability in order to help the rest of the world out. That if we can share our struggle, if we can share our imperfection and our fearlessness in that, I think that's more powerful than even the end goal. And anybody I can guarantee who is good at anything will tell you that it, it didn't just come to them. Um, you have to be passionate. You have to want something so badly that you're willing to be imperfect and you're willing to look stupid, that you're willing to make mistakes. Um, otherwise, we just stay in our room and do nothing which honestly is kind of what I feel I've been doing for the past year because I, now granted, I've had a lot of health issues so that, that has been a huge factor, but I have been afraid to do anything. So, um, again, I'm gonna let myself be vulnerable. I'm gonna let myself look stupid in order that, in hopes that it encourages you to go follow whatever it is that you're afraid to go after. Um, there's so many people that, you know, at 40 found their passion that I'm sure wish they had tried to do it earlier. You know, um, there's a lady who's, what, in her 70s or 80s on one of the America's Got Talent who, who dances and is being like flown around, you know, flipped around and everything like that. I mean, I wanna look stupid a lot right now because it means that I'm living and it means that I'm trying and it means that I'm growing. I'm gonna start this campaign of stupidity. <laughs> or I don't even know what to call it, I'll think of something, but maybe we can all kind of post something, I'll come up with some hashtag of things that we're trying. You know, if you've always wanted to draw, draw a stick figure. If that's just getting you to draw, then draw, you know? Um, anything that is working towards something that you would love to do that you're afraid to do. My husband is like the the best person at this. I He is fearless. I am so in love with that man and he teaches me so much about living and he really goes after things and recently the reason i'm doing this one he's told me i should do this forever which i <laughs> which is hilarious because i've been so afraid to do it but um yeah he uh he kicked my butt the other week out of that came this really cool art piece which i will share with you at some point and maybe talk about what came out of that and the honesty and everything and the authenticity. But I hope that you can dare to be imperfect. There we go, hashtag dare to be imperfect. That's what we'll use. Maybe once a week you can challenge yourself to do something that helps you break through that fear of being perfect and not being worried about what other people think but actually doing something that you're wanting to do or striving to do or something that you love or anything that you want to work to achieve honestly we're the only ones holding ourselves back and that's just the truth of it so i hope that my beautiful self today like i said gorgeous stinky <laughs> I need a shower, but you know what? Here's me in all my glory, and today I choose to be beautiful, and I choose to say yes to moving forward, and no to fear, um, and yes to being imperfect. So, hashtag dare to be imperfect. I love all of your faces, and I hope that you have an amazing week of growth, of conquering your fear and overcoming your perfectionism.